The clutch, one of the most essential components of a motorcycle. It's what allows you to shift gears smoothly, delivering power from the engine to the wheels. But have you ever wondered how it actually works? Today, we're breaking down the motorcycle clutch system from its assembly to its function. Let's get started. The clutch assembly is made up of several important parts. The key components include clutch basket. This is the outer casing of the clutch and houses the clutch plates. The clutch basket is connected to the engine's crankshaft, which means it spins as the engine runs. Clutch plates. Inside the basket, you'll find two sets of plates, friction plates and steel plates. Friction plates are flat disc parts of the clutch system to help grip steel plates firmly. Usually made from fiber-based materials, friction plates are placed in alternate positions with steel plates and have teeth on their outer edges that interlock with the clutch basket and slide along it. They spin with the basket, but don't affect the hub. Steel plates. These are also flat discs that transmit rotational force from the engine to the transmission. They are smooth and metallic discs of high quality, durable steel. Steel plates have teeth on their inner edges that interlock with the inner hub and slide along it. They spin with the hub, but don't affect the basket. Pressure plate. The pressure plate presses the clutch plates together when the clutch is engaged. Clutch hub. The inner part of the clutch assembly connected to the transmission input shaft rotates independently from the clutch basket when the clutch is disengaged. Clutch springs and retainer bolts. These bolts are screwed into the inner hub, compressing the springs and applying pressure to the clutch pack, ensuring friction between the plates. Now, let's assemble all the parts. To assemble the motorcycle clutch, start by installing a friction plate into the clutch hub, ensuring it sits properly in place. Follow this by inserting a steel plate, aligning it carefully with the hub's grooves. Continue alternating between steel and friction plates, stacking them one by one in the correct sequence. This alternating pattern is crucial for smooth power transmission. As you near completion, the last plate you install will always be a friction plate, as it ensures proper engagement with the pressure plate for efficient clutch operation. After you have installed the steel plates and the friction plates, make sure to install the pressure plate, ensuring that the grooves on it slot perfectly in place. This step is crucial for proper clutch operation, as misalignment can lead to performance issues or even damage to the assembly. Carefully align the pressure plate with the rest of the clutch components before securing it in place to ensure smooth and efficient functionality. Once the assembly is properly seated, the next step is to carefully install all the springs, making sure they are positioned correctly to provide the right amount of pressure. These springs are critical in maintaining the clutch's function, as they help engage and disengage the clutch system as needed. After the springs are in place, take the centerpiece and align it with the rest of the components. It's important to ensure that everything is correctly positioned before tightening the bolt. Once the centerpiece is seated properly, tighten the bolt securely.
Now, let's break down how clutch works. The clutch system works by using a combination of mechanical components to engage and disengage the engine from the gearbox, allowing smooth shifting and control of power. When you pull on the clutch lever at the bar, it activates a cable or hydraulic mechanism that moves a push rod. This push rod presses against the clutch springs, which in turn press against the pressure plate, causing it to move away from the friction drive and steel-driven clutch plates. This separation relieves the pressure holding those plates together, allowing them to float apart and spin freely. As a result, the engine is disconnected from the gearbox. Upon releasing the clutch lever, return springs push the push rod back into position. The clutch springs then force the pressure plate toward the clutch hub, causing the drive plates and driven plates to lock together. This action re-engages the clutch with the gearbox. The engine's primary gear turns the clutch basket, which has slots that engage tabs on the friction drive plates. Once engaged, the clutch basket, drive plates, driven plates, clutch hub, and gearbox input shaft all spin together, transferring power from the engine to the gearbox and ultimately to the rear wheel, propelling the vehicle forward. This intricate system allows for controlled engagement and disengagement, making it possible to shift gears smoothly and transfer engine power to the drivetrain. And that wraps up our deep dive into motorcycle clutch parts, their assembly, and how they work. Hopefully, you now have a clear understanding of how these crucial components come together to deliver a smooth and efficient ride. Remember, regular maintenance and proper assembly can make a huge difference in the performance and longevity of your motorcycle's clutch. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching.